Zondok needed a hero. Instead, they got me. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anticipated movies of 2022. Strange. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. For this list, we're looking at movies that are currently slated for a 2022 release that we are on pins and needles to finally see. Keep in mind that delaying movies is still a trend, so some of these movies could still get pushed back, but hopefully not too far back. So, which movie are you most excited to see in 2022? Let us know in the comments. All right, let's get into it. Number 10, Avatar 2. Release date, December 16th, 2022. A lot of you think that the time for an Avatar sequel was 10 years ago, and you're not wrong. Every time we underestimate a long-delayed, multi-million dollar James Cameron picture, though, it winds up breaking box office records left and right. While only time will tell if Avatar 2 meets such heights, we are expecting big things. Although the original blockbuster admittedly loses some of its splendor on a smaller screen, nobody can deny that Avatar was an event. I see you. Given the state of theaters, the industry could use a cinematic experience that demands to be seen on the largest screen possible, especially if it introduces some game-changing special effects. In that respect, Avatar 2 has the potential to be a landmark film. How do you top Avatar with 2 and 3? I, I cry. I just sit here at my desk and <laughs> yes. I cry all yeah. day long because there's no way. And yeah. Number 9. Indiana Jones 5 release date, July 29th, 2022. Like Avatar 2, our high expectations for the currently untitled fifth Indiana Jones film are not without some reservations. After all, Steven Spielberg isn't directing, Harrison Ford is getting up there in age, and the last movie was Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Then again, even Spielberg would probably admit that he's peaked with the series. Director James Mangold can definitely give it a much-needed whip in the arm. In recent years, Ford has delivered great performances as his two other most iconic characters, Han Solo and Rick Deckard. That's not a name. That's a serial number. If Crystal Skull was the franchise's Rocky V, then this film has the potential to be its Rocky Balboa. With Phoebe Waller-Bridge and Mads Mikkelsen also on board, how can we not be excited for another adventure? We have the opportunity to make another is because people have enjoyed them. I feel obliged to, to make sure that there, our efforts are as ambitious as they were um, when we started. Number 8. Mission Impossible 7. Release date, September 30th, 2022. When the first Mission Impossible movie hit theaters in 1996, we didn't think Paramount would still be making sequels over 20 years later. At the very least, you'd think that the franchise would have been rebooted with a new star taking center stage. Like Tom Cruise, however, the Mission Impossible franchise is not showing its age in the slightest. You have something I want right now that makes me the only person you can trust to get you out of here alive. From Ghost Protocol onward, the stunts have gotten more ambitious, the performances have developed more layers, and the direction has grown more atmospheric with each passing entry. Even tropes we've seen a million times before, such as the obligatory mask reveal, continue to find new ways to catch us off guard. After various delays, we are eager to see how this seventh installment will keep us on our toes. Another angle shows him fly, look at this, off the cliff and then open a parachute to glide down to safety. You only do one take for that, right? <laughs> oh, oh, are you kidding? <laughs> Number seven, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Release date, July 8th, 2022. While Chadwick Boseman appeared in four MCU movies overall, he sadly only got to take center stage once before his unexpected passing in 2020. I am not ready to be without you. As such, Black Panther Wakanda Forever will be different from the other MCU sequels we've seen so far. The film's title can be interpreted in a couple of ways. It speaks to the everlasting impact that Boseman and T'Challa have left on cinema and culture. You saved me. You saved my family. The title also encompasses the unbreakable spirit of Wakanda, even during its darkest hours. 
the kingdom may be without its king, but there are still more compelling stories to tell. Whatever the future holds, Wakanda will always be a beacon of inspiration with characters who will continue to unite us. Wakanda forever! Number 6. Thor, Love and Thunder. Release date, May 6, 2022. Here's another MCU sequel that stands out from others. Whereas Tony Stark and Steve Rogers got trilogies, Thor is this franchise's first Avenger to get a fourth solo movie. Yes! Since Ragnarok was such an improvement over the Dark World, Marvel probably figured that Taika Waititi deserved another turn. Solo might not be the right word to describe the film either, since Natalie Portman's return as Jane Foster also marks her debut as Mighty Thor. Sorry, I just needed to make sure you were real. Does that mean that Thor and Jane will be a package deal like Ant-Man and the Wasp? Or will Love and Thunder be a passing of the torch? Plus, is Thor more of an Avenger or a Guardian of the Galaxy now? All of these questions are precisely why we are so pumped. I'm in charge. I know. I know, of course you are. Number 5. The Flash. Release date, November 4th, 2022. The Flash has gone through so many delays and creative talents that we'd like to see a documentary about its behind-the-scenes history. Of course, we will gladly settle for finally getting the actual movie. Guys, this is not together! Based on everything we've learned so far, The Flash is bound to not only shake up the DCEU, but the entire multiverse. In addition to Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton is reprising his role from the Tim Burton era of Batman. What are you? I'm Batman. Drawing inspiration from the Flashpoint storyline, Ezra Miller's Barry Allen might cross paths with a wide variety of other familiar faces from alternate universes. The Flash could also just be the beginning, paving the way for more crossover events fans thought they'd never get to see. It's all right. Number 4. John Wick Chapter 4 Release date, May 27, 2022 In many respects, the original John Wick is like this generation's Die Hard, right down to the fact that neither film ever reached number one at the box office. It wouldn't be long until both solidified their places as action classics, however. Are you here on business, sir? Afraid so, Francis. Why don't you take the night off? Whereas the Die Hard sequels have been all over the map, though, John Wick remains one of the most consistently invigorating franchises. Part of that's because the series hasn't changed many hands, with Keanu Reeves and director Chad Stahelski being driving forces throughout. The filmmakers also know not to bog things down with exposition, keeping motivation simple and the action innovative. After three home runs, we have no reason to believe that Chapter 4 won't deliver the goods as well. Yeah. Number 3. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Release date, March 25th, 2022. You think Spider-Man No Way Home looks bonkers? Well, Benedict Cumberbatch says that the next Doctor Strange movie is going to be even more ambitious. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. Granted, Cumberbatch might be a little biased, but the Multiverse of Madness could go to places beyond our wildest imaginations. Whereas No Way Home will likely focus on the Spider-Man mythos, the Doctor Strange sequel can take any number of directions. <laughs> that is hilarious. We know that Scarlet Witch will play an essential role, and that Tom Hiddleston will reportedly pop up as Loki. If the film truly embraces its title, however, who knows what strange sights this movie has in store for us? Are we the only ones who want to see the MCU Stephen Strange meet Peter Hooten's version? It is done. I felt tremendous pain. Number 2. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2 Release date, October 7th, 2022 Between The Flash and Doctor Strange, 2022 may go down as the year of the multiverse. This trend arguably started with Into the Spider-Verse, at least on a big-budget cinematic scale. Hey. The film shattered all expectations, winning an Oscar and rivaling Spider-Man 2 as the greatest Spider-Man movie ever made. It also proved that a superhero film can juggle multiple villains without feeling overstuffed. We're not sure which villains might pop up in the sequel, but Issa Rae will be fighting alongside Miles and Gwen as Jessica Drew, aka Spider-Woman. Phil Lord has also suggested that Spider-Man from the 1978 Japanese series could appear. Don't go 
お前は地獄からの使者スパイダーマン That is just about the most perfect thing we've ever heard. Is there a universe where this movie disappoints? We think not. And it's a no on the cape. I think it's cool. Take that off. It's ah. disrespectful. <laughs> Spider-Man doesn't wear a cape. All right, you know what I'm going to ask. Is it Marvel or DC at number one? Or neither. All right, let's list some honorable mentions, and then we will name the movie we are most psyched to see in 2022. Scream. Release date, January 14th, 2022. Why isn't the sequel called Scream 5? Probably a meta reference to 2018's Halloween. No! Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Release date, April 8th, 2022. Tails and Knuckles are on the way. But will Big the Cat pop up? If these readings are accurate, he's here. I found him. I just hope I'm not too late. Jurassic World Dominion. Release date, June 10th, 2022. We'd like more Alan, Ellie, and Ian, but less Owen and Claire, please. These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're going to be here after. The Marvels. Release date, November 11th, 2022. Monica Rambeau is all grown up and ready to fight alongside Carol Danvers. No, no, stand down! Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Release date, December 16th, 2022. Black Manta gets another round. This is Atlantean technology, isn't it? Can you tell me how you got this? Sure. But first, you gotta tell me how to find him. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Batman. Release date, March 4th, 2022. We've gotten several live-action incarnations of Batman. Some good, some bad, and some Snyder. For whatever reason, though, not many have delved deep into the detective angle that defined Batman in the comics. Any of this mean anything to you? Director Matt Reeves has described his version as, quote, almost noir-driven, drawing inspiration from one of the best Batman mysteries ever written, The Long Halloween. What is the price for your blind eye? While the Batman might not have as many villains as that classic limited series, we will be getting Paul Dano as Edward Nashton, Zoe Kravitz as Selina Kyle, and seriously, that's Colin Farrell as Penguin? Just give the makeup crew Oscars now. Oh, and to anyone who doubts Robert Pattinson, if you've seen Good Time, you know why he has the grit to play the Dark Knight. How am I part of this? You'll see. So which movie are you most excited to see? I'm partial to Doctor Strange, Scream 5, and Sonic 2, I think. Anyway, let's get excited in the comments. Or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram, at Rebecca Brayton, or on my YouTube channel. See ya!